What is up, hackers? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto, where we hack all of our Web3 education. If you guys are brand new here, be sure to slap a like on this video if you like educational content, and be subscribed with your notification bell on to get all of the latest and greatest info here on the channel. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be going over the top four layer two solutions. Now, if you're brand new to that and it sounds like a whole different language, layer twos are basically what it sounds like. If you looked at an Oreo cookie, it is what sits on top of a foundation. And that is how these are designed so that it can be fast, seamless, low cost transactions to take place and then settle on a slower blockchain. Now, the ones that I'm gonna be talking about today are based on Ethereum meaning that Ethereum, you can transact directly on the mainnet chain and pay quite a lot in fees. Whereas with something like a Polygon, Matic, you are literally paying cents to transact. On mainnet, you could be paying a few dollars. So it's an order of magnitude, in many cases, less expensive to transact on these L2s. Now, one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about layer twos, often referred to as L2s, is because it is the chain of choice for gaming. That is how everyone is approaching this with Polygon, Sandbox, Decentraland. A lot of these companies and organizations and DAOs and everything are focused on layer two because transactions can take place in high volumes for less money on the cost of transacting. So the goal of these is to really make it easy to use. A good interface will allow for gamers to interact with it, not really knowing it. And I have some favorites in this list, the short list of only four, but I wanna start with Polygon. Now I met Polygon, the founders, in New York City in 2019, or NFT NYC 2019, which actually took place in 2020, right before COVID started kicking off. I got a chance to meet them in person. We talked about it, and it was a really, really cool early product back then. They had a booth, and they were talking about how Layer 2s were the future. This was long before the sort of craziness of the NFT market blew up. And it was so fun to hear about how it was working in the early days and how they were such a small team. And then, you know, fast forwarding later on, they are the biggest L2 out there. And some other DEXs popped up on it, like QuickSwap was the first ever DEX on Polygon, which was very cool because it was like the Uniswap of L2. And a lot of things got built on top of it quickly, including Sandstorm, the marketplace that we launched, our talent marketplace to help developers kind of have that litmus test of getting on the chain to actually deploy assets for these worlds that were on the blockchain and all of that. So there was a lot of really cool development that was happening early days, and there still is development behind the scenes on Polygon. I would consider this the number one L2 out there. Ultimately, I feel like this is the the gold standard. Next up, we have Optimism. Now I got to see the founder talk at Permissionless in West Palm Beach. I think it was last year, the year before that. And it is a L2 blockchain on Ethereum. It was built by Ethereum developers and it allows developers to build on a scalable L2 platform. And it's really exciting because there's a lot of applications that are already using it. And ultimately it's pretty much instantaneous and cheap, very, very cheap transactions. So I've seen a lot of momentum happening on this. It was founded in 2019, so relatively new. And I believe this is going to be one of the gems of the next bull market where people are very much looking for L2s as the alternative to the kind of settlement layer where you have these foundational kind of standards, like the gold standard for Bitcoin sitting down there. And then you have things building on top of it. Up until 1971, you had the gold standard and then the dollar built on top of it. You could trade that dollar back and forth and ultimately it could settle for gold if you wanted to trade it in. Same concept with L1s as the Ethereum's and the Bitcoins, the Solana's, everything underneath these L1s. And then on top, you have the L2s that are the transacting layer. So I really like Optimism because they have some really awesome applications that are already being built out on it. Having watched the founder talk about this uh, at Permissionless, it was really cool. And the instantaneousness is, is very, very fun to watch in real time. 
I'll probably demo this on a future video, but overall very bullish on optimism. Next up we have Arbitrum. This one really leans into the smart contracts on L2 and it doesn't sacrifice security or privacy. So when it comes to L2s and their value proposition, a lot of them like to lean into different messaging. And with Arbitrum, they really focus on scalability, privacy, and smart contracts. And I like that people are leaning into certain messages because all of these are doing rel relatively the same thing. They're sitting on top of a foundational L1 blockchain and they're just trying to make for fast, cheap, almost instant transactions to take place. So everybody has to kind of choose a niche to focus in and to go after. And Arbitrum focusing on smart contracts, I think is very smart uh, because they're getting a lot of the token community that are putting out these contracts on top. And it's really just allowing for very easy usage of virtual machines on this L2. So really cool. I like that it is for building very secure Ethereum dApps and they're just leaning into a lot of the messaging there that help developers know that they're not sacrificing anything by going to L2 as opposed to the mega giant of Ethereum as the L1. So very fun to see and follow Arbitrum as well. And last, but most certainly not least, is Immutable X. If you guys haven't heard of Immutable X, it is one of the biggest gaming blockchain L2s out there. I mean, it is what people talked about last year and the year before that with NFTs. And I've met their team as well. Uh, I've met pretty much most of these teams and most people on the early teams. And it is fun to see that it's basically close to zero gas fees on the minting of NFTs and the trading and the gaming aspect. So the near zero gas is pretty clutch when it comes to all aspects of gaming. And I see Immutable and Polygon being very close neck and neck in terms of their value proposition. Now I used a site, I wanna say I did a demo on the channel three years ago, four years ago, it was, it was a long time ago, and it was called Connect. And it was a art based NFT platform where artists could go on there, list collections, and you could buy and sell them. And I remember going on there and it was literally the first Immutable X application I'd ever seen before. I don't know if it was the first public one, but it was a big deal. People were on there trading and it was instant. I mean, it was so fast. And comparing that with even Polygon and Ethereum, it was so cool to see how people were buying and selling NFTs on a marketplace with artists. And uh, go back and check on the channel to see if I did an, an actual demo of that because it was it was a lot of a lot of fun there's a couple of other interesting things with immutable x that i wanted to mention the security of course is key and of course the scalability personally having transacted on this and and played and tested games on this crypto stash can attest to this this one is second to none i mean it is incredible how scalable and how fast these transactions can take place so i believe this is going to be one of the headliners that sits behind the scenes of triple a gaming because they've gone after gaming they've really leaned into the gaming nft assets of in-game uh you know developers and it's just such a cool way of approaching it the optimism and the arbitrums are very focused on the kind of web3 dApps and those sort of applications whereas immutable is super leaned into gaming and polygon is kind of doing the everything they're they're very much trying to be an ethereum swiss army knife kind of approach where they want everybody to utilize it and and in different ways but immutable is super focused on gaming which i had to include in this because it's such a fun concept and such a fun team and they're doing great things raised a ton of money and I think they're gonna go a really long way. So that is it for my four L2s. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section. That was Polygon, that was Optimism, that was Arbitrum, and Immutable X. These are all layer twos on Ethereum. I chose Ethereum because it is the most popular chain out there, and it is the gold standard for L2s. So if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. That is it. I will see you guys here on the next episode of Hack Crypto.